Hello, photography friends. I know he said we weren't going to do wildlife this weekend. But I'm a glutton for punishment. As you can see, I've had a rough week. I look very haggard. This week, life has been the Harlem Globetrotters. And I've been the Washington Generals. Let's forget all that now. Let's just go do some photography at the most populated wildlife preserve I've ever been to. Okay. Not like sure exactly what we're gonna find over here today seen all sorts of stuff over here um, not going in with any expectations like last week because I've had enough disappointment in my life and I just don't need that again why is it always so cold oh yes that's right because it's winter in the Northeast I'm out at 630 in the morning side detour um, ran into another photographer so we were just seeing if we could uh, find anything interesting but I thought we might see a short-eared owl over here but we did not this video could be another uneventful wildlife photography video but Honestly, we're here just to enjoy each other's company, right? Coming up on the point of Satuest. In the hopes that we might find a snowy owl like we did two years ago. some lady up here doing yoga in the middle of a wildlife preserve. Are we gonna not be suspicious? Okay. Don't be suspicious. 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 Here we go. It's so cold out right now and um, I've only walked around the preserve like one loop so um, I'm not optimistic that we're actually going to see anything on the second loop and I'm actually very cold but I'm still going to do it for my two subscribers because that's the type of creator that I am. There's a few little uh, songbirds out in this area. I just hang out here and see if I can get a few pictures of them. I feel like there's something over there actually too. Guys, I've just found something amazing. We have a doe. A deer, a female deer. We have a ray, a drop of golden sun. 
we have a me, a name I call myself. And then way, way over there, really, really far, is a long, long way to run. The good thing about this place is that even when you do see something interesting, there's a good chance that a jogger is going to go by within two seconds and he's just going to scare it away anyway. So that's what I love about this place. I mean, well, we didn't see much over here except for deer and joggers. Um, I do have one more spot I want to check out just before we call it quits for the day. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, but we're going to check it out and see if we can see. Well, that's a secret. check one more little nest over here that I found a while back. Um, this is at another location. It's not a wildlife refuge though, so I'm not going to go too far off the path here because it is hunting season and these hunters love nothing more to put a cap in my ass. There's the nest up there, but um, doesn't look like there's anything living in it yet. So another failure. Well, since we're here, we might as well walk down by the uh, the water away from the hunters. Can hear the gunshots actually they so wanted a nap a photographer today but tough luck boys this is all frozen it's very sketch very very sketch why is it so wet over here okay we made it past the deadly frozen ground we're gonna walk down by the rocks closer to the coast. See if we can see anything. One day, Simba, this will all be yours. Dear James Cameron, will I ever be king of the world like you were? I hope so. I know what you're saying saying this is the worst photography channel I've ever watched in my life on YouTube. No one's forcing you to. No one is forcing you to.
that is a whole lot of confidence in that bench. A whole lot of confidence. me is the historic Beaver Tail Lighthouse, which was named after the family that crashed here. Small family. Father was captaining the ship and the wife was six months pregnant with her first child. And she gave birth along the journey and the daughter had a beaver tail. And the father, he was so distressed when he saw this. He ended up crashing the uh, boat right here uh, onto these rocks. And uh, the people were like, hey, if we had a lighthouse here, he wouldn't have crashed. And they said, what should we name it? The obvious choice was Beaver Tail. So uh, there was even a see him about it. I'll try to remember it. Maybe I'll sing it later, I don't know. Well, that should just about do it for today. Uh, we didn't get a lot of photos. But we learned about history. Factual history about Beaver Tail Lighthouse. Factual history in which every single word that I said was true. In a sea of fake news, I am the voice, the beacon, like Beaver Tail Lighthouse shining through for families that have children with beaver tails. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and please keep taking photos. Goodbye. Here's a tale of a family who set it to sea And the wife was pregnant with a baby The father steered through rough waves and storms As he waited for his child to be born Then one night he was awakened with a shriek, so he got right up to go take a pee. When he entered the room, he let out a wail, for his daughter was born with a beaver's tail. The father was in horror and he couldn't get a grip And that was when he crashed his ship People found the bodies and wondered why they set sail With a daughter who had a beaver's tail With a daughter who had a beaver's tail.